Home to more than 50 different countries, the African continent has some of the world's best cities to explore. Vibrant, eclectic and culturally rich, many African cities are modern affairs set to a beautiful backdrop. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 cities in Africa. And just wait till you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. Now, let's cut to the chase. At 10. Nairobi, Kenya Kenya's capital city, Nairobi, is a vibrant and unique destination with some of the best infrastructure on the African continent. Expect a mix of contemporary skyscrapers and traditional Kenyan style plus a healthy dose of culture and historical sites. One of the coolest facets of Nairobi is its accessibility to African wildlife safaris. Located just on the outskirts of the city centre is Nairobi National Park, a game reserve famed for breeding endangered black rhinos. It is also home to other animals, from zebras to lions and giraffes. Another Nairobi top attraction is the Elephant Orphanage, run by the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust next to the reserve. For lodging, you'll want to check out Giraffe Manor. It is one of the most unique boutique properties around. Guests here can interact with giraffes. At 9. Durban, South Africa South Africa's third major city, Durban, has a unique multicultural history and is known as the birthplace of Mohandas Karamachand Gandhi, who was born here on June 7, 1893. Today, the city on the Indian Ocean coastline is a top South African beach destination. The sea here is quite a bit warmer than in Cape Town, with some good surf breaks. It is also known for its large Indian population and excellent restaurant scene. Top Durban attractions include a seafront promenade that runs from Ushaka Marine World, a large theme park with an aquarium, to the Moses Mabhida Stadium, which was built for the 2010 Soccer World Cup. It is also known as the Golden Mile. The Durban Botanical Gardens is another popular attraction and showcases a larger variety of African plants. At 8. Windhoek, Namibia Namibia's capital city is one of Africa's easiest to navigate. Safe, contemporary and clean, it is filled with traditional German houses and pastel-hued buildings. Despite being Namibia's largest city, Windhoek has more of a small-town vibe. The pedestrian-friendly city is easy to explore on foot. Don't miss its many craft shops, fun and tasty restaurants and neo-baroque cathedrals that join skyscrapers to make up the city's skyline. At 7. Essaouira, Morocco The Moroccan port city of Essaouira, on the country's Atlantic coast, is one of its most beautiful. The city, which is also a popular resort town, has some lovely beaches and is known for its excellent kite surfing, wind surfing and regular surfing thanks to strong currents and plenty of wind. It is actually known as the Wind City of Africa. Head to the Old Medina to begin sightseeing. It is protected by 18th century seafront ramparts and is filled with palm-lined avenues and narrow streets where you'll find cafes, art galleries and small hotels. Also check out the old brass cannons lining this picturesque fishing town's fortified walls. At 6. Kigali, Rwanda Rwanda's capital city is known for being one of Africa's cleanest cities. Set in the middle of the country and just a two and a half hour drive from Volcanoes National Park, where tourists come to trek to see Rwanda's mountain gorillas, it has a great geographical location for exploring this emerging destination. The city, which sits at just over 5,000 feet above sea level and dates back to the 11th century, is hilly, with buildings set on ridges and accompanying valleys. The Kigali Genocide Memorial is a top, if sombre, Kigali attraction, documenting the horrific 1994 mass killings during Rwanda's civil war. For traditional handicrafts, from wooden carvings to jewellery and woven baskets, head to the numerous vendors making up the Kaplaki Craft Village. Kigali has also a lively restaurant and entertainment scene. Next up at 5, Johannesburg, South Africa. 
Johannesburg, or Joburg as the locals call it, is South Africa's largest city and one of Africa's most wealthy and modern. Expect skyscrapers, world-class hotels and a host of restaurants that can rival those in major western cities like New York. In fact, a lot of Joburg has a feeling similar to NYC. It has a young, vibrant, frenetic, goes-all-night energy about it. The city centre is home to attractions like the not-to-be-missed Apartheid Museum. But the suburbs here are also notable where most of the hotels and restaurants are located. Johannesburg is also filled with shopping malls that people still flock to, and you'll find these anchored by more classy hotels and restaurants. The township of Soweto is another cultural must-see to understand South Africa's complicated history. At 4. Stone Town, Zanzibar Stone Town is no major metropolis. It is an old Swahili coastal trading town, but it is one of the most intriguing destinations in Africa. Located on the beautiful island of Zanzibar off the Tanzanian coast in the Indian Ocean, Stone Town is the heart and soul of the island. The town dates back more than 200 years and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is filled with winding alleys and old riads with their intricate carved wooden doorways that serve as guest houses now. Check out the town's vibrant bazaars and grab dinner from one of the multiple food vendors cooking up fresh dishes right on the waterfront. At 3. Cairo, Egypt Right on the banks of the Nile River, Cairo is a chaotic and bustling city that is also the largest in Egypt. It's dubbed the city that never sleeps. There is always something going on in this sprawling metropolis, where ancient culture meets modern skyscrapers. Expect to hear a cacophony of horns and the rumble of traffic day and night, but the sounds are invigorating to those who like large cities. Travellers come to Cairo to explore Egypt's long and storied history. Top Cairo attractions include the Egyptian Museum, which is filled with millennia worth of antiquities and artefacts, including mummified bodies of ancient rulers. The large public Tahir Square, with its central traffic circle, is the heart of Cairo and also known as a location for political demonstrations. For panoramic city views, you'll want to visit the 187-metre-high Cairo Tower in the Zamalek district of the Gezira Island suburb. Also nearby is Giza, where you'll find Egypt's most famous attractions, the iconic pyramids dating back to the 26th century BC and the Great Sphinx. And if you're brave enough, visit on a camel for sunrise or sunset. Next up at 2, Marrakesh, Morocco. Morocco's fourth largest city, Marrakesh, is a mesmerizing place to visit, filled with ancient architecture and modern culture. In the western part of the country, Marrakesh is home to a vibrant medieval wall, Medina, which dates back to the Berber Empire. You'll want to spend some time wandering its narrow maze-like streets, where you'll find souks or marketplaces, selling all sorts of traditional goods from jewelry to spices and textiles. Another one of Marrakesh's must-sees is the 12th-century Qutubla Mosque, with its Moorish minaret that forms an integral part of the city skyline. Also, don't miss new attractions like the Museum of African Contemporary Art Al Madan and the galleries making up Marrakesh's burgeoning art scene. If you're trying to decide where to stay, the Lux Oberoi Marrakesh is one of the best sleeps in the city. It's also I've heard. And finally, at number one, drum roll please, Cape Town, South Africa. Located at the base of Table Mountain and right on the Atlantic Ocean, Cape Town has it all. The city is home to a string of beautiful beaches and a plethora of natural attractions like climbing to the top of Lion's Head to view the sunrise or hiking in Table Mountain National Park. It also features the gorgeous Kirsten Bosch Botanical Garden. And there is an opportunity to see wild African penguins just about 30 minutes outside the city centre. Cape Town is also culturally rich and home to a myriad of museums, galleries and historical attractions like Robben Island, where Nelson Mandela was imprisoned for 27 years. When it comes to dining and shopping, Cape Town has excellent restaurants and contemporary shops. Don't miss the lively Victoria and Alfred waterfront, which is home to both. There are also hotels for all budgets of travellers and due to a favourable exchange rate for Americans, Canadians and Europeans, even the luxury hotels here are affordable. 
If you do want to splurge, the Silo Hotel is one of the nicest in town with Instagram-worthy bathtubs. And there you have the top 10 cities in Africa to visit. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your African-loving friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.